um, for two years, ever since the uh, property was uh, given uh, sold to Kingston, I've been working with um, the lawyer for Mr. Kingston in order to preserve some of the things from the depot. The depot is very important to the community because uh, it opened Panama City up. It uh, actually gave us our name because when they were talking about bringing the railroad down, they were in Atlanta, and they said, well, what's the name of your town? And A.B. Steele just said, Panama City. Wood that we're, we're still salvaging. We'll be, I'm not sure how long they'll give us. We'll go into the next week. And then it brought the people, and it allowed us to have what we do today because people were able to get here. This, of course, is the second depot building, the first being across the street on the water. It burned in 1924, and this one was built within 90 days. And um, we are finally here today getting some of the things. Our hope is that when we get a museum, hopefully in downtown Panama City for the history of Bay County, that we will be able to recreate a corner and let people know what the, the depot looks like and we can have some of the artifacts from it and uh, just have a look at something that's very important to come and see. Now, warehouse portion was built in at least two sections. For salvaging planks, um, figure out something creative to do with them, cut them up, sell them as plaques. This is uh, a safe. We do not have a key for it. Uh, there are two safes in here. There's actually a smaller safe within that door in the safe. We can't open it. Uh, we're still going to try to salvage that in the one downstairs. Little we'll train tickets and the 1972 we found things from the 1940s and 50s that were still in there, and there's supplies and signatures. That will definitely go in the local history room. Our kids researching. Open top cars, we'll find it. Just a roller from like an old it's, register. It's off the re a register, wax coated paper from there. We're supposed to get this part of the island so we can recreate the look of the staircase, and I, and I like the angle, and we're supposed to get some of the stairs if that's to come at demolition. Once, once they start, I wonder. I don't know if they're going to take parts off or they're just going to take them back off. I think some of it's going to be salvaged. I'm not sure. Yes, some of the wood is going to be salvaged. I hope we can have some pieces outside. Wasn't it beautiful when they took those asbestos shingles off? Yeah. Yeah. And you saw that yellow uh, coming to work every morning. Has there been anything in the uh, work here that's, that's really surprised or thrilled you? Well, I've been in here several times over the last couple of years, a number of times, and, and we knew the things we were looking for and had identified them, um, sent a list to a representative for Mr. Kingston that was approved. Um, we'd love to be able to salvage a lot of the material, and it would be great if it could be sold and money put aside for a museum, but I don't think that's happening. My mother... <laughs> came by train to Panama City in about 1916 when my grandfather brought the family down. He had been here three years and sent for the family and they moved to Millville. But they came on the train from the Florala route. And I want a piece to work on because she used to be here at one time. Then when she was a young student in college, she would take the train back and forth. And so there's a lot of history and memory for me.
and I love working on old wood, and this is so important to me. I'm here on behalf of not only the Historical Society, but also the Centennial Committee, uh, and we hope to parlay some of the, the things we're salvaging into the celebration of the 100th uh, anniversary of Panama City in 2009.